everyone and welcome back to the Drone Soccer YouTube channel and today I have super special guests, our new champions! Hello! <laughs> okay, so would you guys want, like to introduce yourself to the audience so everyone knows who we are talking to? Yeah, so um, I'm Alana, I'm a sophomore here at Sato. I'm Jack, I'm a freshman. So can you tell me how did you actually start your journey with the Drone Soccer? Like, how did you get into it? Um, so for me, uh, my engineering teacher from last year, Mr. Albert Gallo, he um, showed me the video from a video for US drone soccer, and I thought it was just, like the coolest thing ever. Um, so he said he was putting together a team and asked if I wanted to be a part of it. And I said, yes, of course, because it was, I just knew it was just going to be an incredible opportunity. And I'd never really flown a drone before. Uh, so. I was really excited to be able to gain that skill. Aww. Yeah, um, I, I heard about drone soccer from one of my friends that joined, and I've always wanted to learn how to fly a drone because I'd never flown a drone before, so I thought it would be really cool to be like on the, like the forefront of a new sport, so yeah. That's cool. What really got you into it? Like you were, you were thinking like, oh, this is a drone, or this is like Quidditch from Harry Potter, or what were your thoughts when you saw it for the first time? Oh, I... I just thought it was really cool because it's like when you see a video, it's just like a bunch of drones flying around with like LED boards and it's super colorful, like knocking into each other. Um, yeah, I do like Harry Potter, so I, it is kind of like Quidditch, which is kind of fun. But it yeah, it is kind of right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, when I first saw the promo video, um, I thought it looked really cool, and the way the promo video is, it just makes it it captures drone soccer so well, um, and it. It made me really excited to be able to have this opportunity and to be a part of it. Uh, how do you guys train together to be sure that you win everything? Um, so we practice two times a week and we kind of got into a pattern where um, one day we focus on drills and on skills. So hovering or we do like a four on one drill or follow the leader drill where we all just follow each other going through the hoop. Um, and then we on the other day that we practice during the week, we kind of set that aside as a scrimmage day. So um, we'll just do five on five scrimmages because we are fortunate enough to be able to have that many people. Um, or we'll do like three on just different different scrimmages. That way we can gain that confidence with the drone. Mm, interesting. And how long does it take? So twice a week for an hour or two or three? How long is it? Wait. It's an hour and a half. Like yeah, an no. hour. Hour and a half. Okay, that's that's a lot of trading. No wonder you guys want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How is uh, everything working within your team? Like, do you guys uh, spend time together past uh, your normal schedule training and events, or? Yeah. So, uh, during the practices, like in between games, since we have three teams, there's always one team that's like not playing. So during that time, we usually like talk to each other and strategize and see what we can improve on for the next game that we play. Yeah, and we usually just see each other around school also, which is really great because we're in a small school. Um, so we're able to have that community where we'll just be walking to class and we'll just see everybody. And then um, there's a lot of times we'll, work, we'll come in afterwards into Mr. Guy's classroom and we'll work on the drones or we'll always be doing something. So there's we bump into each other a lot. So it's been really great to be able to form those connections through drone soccer. Mm. That's great. And do you did you start flying the normal drones as well after starting with drone soccer? I haven't. We tried. I've tried to fly FPV a little yeah. bit. Um, <sighs> I've been wanting to get into it. I haven't yet, though. I'm still. I think. I think on for all of us, just doing yeah. drone soccer mainly was our main priority. But I think now I want to start to get into different types of drones. Um, and I'm really excited to do that. Oh, FPV is a good choice. I may be biased oh, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do you want to do in the future? Is your future connected with drones and aviation or is it something else? Oh, like our careers? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, so I went to Sato mainly because I wanted to like do engineering and get into STEM. Mm. Um, I didn't come to Sato like specifically with drones, but now that I've done drone soccer, it's kind of like maybe that's an option because there's a lot more jobs that are starting to pop up, like just being a drone pilot. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I had a uh, kind of similar to Jack. 
Um, I also came to Zotto because I knew they, they had a really great engineering um, focus and engineering opportunities. Um, and so I think in the future, I'm leaning more towards engineering. Um, but just like Jack, um, playing drone soccer has I've been able to make some new connections and just be able to expand my focus and my interests. So I think just personally, I would love to continue with drones in the future. And I would just love to see what I could do with this and where where it could take me. Mm, absolutely. Do you have like a special niche in which you want to be? Like videography or <laughs> checking out buildings? Maybe sports, FPV racing. I've, I think I've looked into... Sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've looked into that. That's It looks... Drone racing looks really cool. Um, I'm also looked into and I'm interested in um, like aerial photography. I think that's really cool too. Okay, that's great. And? Well, not me. Yeah. Um, I haven't really thought about like specific, specifically what part of drones I want to do. Um, there's like, I've seen like in movies they use drones to film some shots and that seems really cool to me. Or just like, I've seen like in car races they have drones following the cars. Oh yeah, that that's a hard really cool. one. I, yeah, I haven't really thought about it. Yeah. You have a lot of time, trust me. So you can figure yeah. something out. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, and can you tell me something about the championship? How was it? How did you guys strategize? What were the emotions and everything? All the adrenaline? How did it go? I mean, we know you won, but what was going on behind the scenes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think we all prepared the most we could. Um, I think it was just a really big deal to all of us to even be there. Um, it was my first time in New York and I was just grateful. I think we were all really grateful to have the opportunity and we were really excited because we've been practicing since the beginning of the school year. Um, and now it was crazy that we were at the national championship. Mm. So I think we all felt that pressure, um, but I think we still tried to, our main focus was really having a good time and you know, playing the sport that we've all grown, grown so fond of. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, tell um, me everything. Well, the more drama, the better. And you're the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, the penalty shot, that was a little bit nerve wracking because we were, we had a four point lead, but you know, there was still a possibility. There's always a possibility. Something could happen with my drone, it could go down and they could score those for points and make it up. Um, so it was definitely very tense, but I think um, luckily I was able to, my drone was okay, which was <laughs> yeah. such a blessing. Um, and I was able to stay focused and uh, be able to defend that goal and secure that championship, <laughs> which is really exciting. How do you guys deal with all the pressure of uh, the championship? I mean, it's not it's not super easy because it's like, oh, we need to win. But then how do you also put it on your team being like, hey, guys, we can do it when everyone stresses out and goes into panic mode? Yeah, uh, personally, I was really nervous the whole time because like we were playing against people that were like had been practicing for longer. So for me, it was like we can just do the best that we can do. Mm. And if that means that we win, that's really great. So at the end, when we were doing that last penalty shot, I was just so happy to be in the final in the first <laughs> place. Um, and on top of that, that was we had already won the first set, so um, kind of had a cushion, but it was still really nerve wracking to see. And how do you deal yeah. with it? I think we all just kind of relied on one another. And, you know, there was lots of little dance breaks. They had a great DJ. Um, I think that's music <laughs> definitely kind of kept us, I don't know, more sane. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, and I think just, <laughs> I think just relying on the practice that we've had. Um, and luckily we were, did the regionals beforehand. And I think just with our team, um, we went undefeated until the finals where we played our other team, the Sato White Dragons. Um, and then we just kept losing <laughs> and losing. Yeah. Um, so we ended up with second. So I think to learn from that experience and be able to learn how to cope with, you know, if you do lose one set, that that's okay. It doesn't set you back. And I think from that, 
we definitely learned uh, how to not get so thrown off by it um, and yeah. to really mm. keep our cool. And yeah, just have fun with it, really. Aww. So how was your team once you guys realized that you won? Was it just a huge party or was it the moment of, did we win? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, for me especially, I think it was everyone. We were like, I was just like shocked that we won and then everyone else from Sado just came running and it was like a mosh pit. So it's, it's, it's <laughs> crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So a lot of hacks. <laughs> At this point, I... I yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't... I, I think I remember checking the score the score just to make sure that we had actually won, <laughs> but it was just such a relief and so exciting, just because that dramatic buzzer too, it just yeah. built up the anticipation and just the happiness and excitement of that moment. That's interesting. Uh, are you guys maybe planning to get some type of a funding? What is your biggest bottleneck right now? I think we recently received some grants that we would fight for. Um, mm. And then I think in the future, they will keep applying for, um, or I think there's definitely always some sort of STEM um, opportunities or STEM um, grants that we can apply for. And then I think we've That'd also, so yeah, we're going to be doing hopefully some camps in the future to raise money. And then we've also reached out to different companies like I think Jack actually, yeah, the, airport. To, yeah, the airport near us, and he was able to. Uh, get some money from them. Uh, okay. So I think just contacting. That's great. And uh, what do you like about the drone soccer most? Is it the flight or is it the STEM part of building and programming? Actually, I don't know. I really, I really enjoy both parts. Um, I think it would be the flying part, just because it's like more Far exciting, like really um, freaking like chaotic. Yeah, it's exciting. Um, I do also really enjoy the the calibrating and stuff, like the more STEM side of it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty equal. Mm. Yeah, I think for me, it would also have to be flying. That's <laughs> it's just so fun. Um, but through that, with all the crashes and the bumps, uh, comes integrating the STEM part where you have to fix the drone and figure out what's wrong with it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have just one per uh, person or do you have like two? So if you crash, you can switch it right away. Um, I think each team has seven drones. So um, we each have one and then there's usually about one or two spares on each team. Okay, then it's great. Do you have like a pit stop? Not, I mean, yeah, not specifically. We kind of, it's kind of there's drone got broken. They're the one that fixes it. And sometimes other people help. Like um, in one of the games, my prop broke and uh, I think two of my teammates helped me fix it to make it a lot faster, so that's kind of... Mm. Yeah, that's the most important that your team works really well together. Last question, uh, what would you guys say to people who are thinking about starting with drone soccer or are just starting with it and are thinking like, mm, should we sign up for a championship or not? Oh, um, I would say um, it, that it's really fun and you get a lot of cool experience and you meet a lot of really cool people. Uh, in the process and but um, it can be a commitment sometimes so you have to be ready to like um, you know like spend some of your time on it but yeah. I think it really pays off and it, it's really really fun. Team collaboration and skills. Oh exactly. Um, yeah I would have to say to that someone. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I would say just to, and to try it out because you never know where it could take you. Um, and you learn so much from it um, that can help you in the future. Um, so, yeah, it's like we, I don't think any of us knew that we would make it, that we would go to the national championship or that we would even win it. So yeah. that has just been such a surprise and such a delight for us. So, yeah. That's great. That's super awesome. So thank you guys for meeting me just after your lessons. And I hope for the best of you. And I hope to see you on the next championship. Come on, you guys need to win more. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much for doing you. this interview. It was fun to meet you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. And see you soon, hopefully. Thank
Thank you so so much for watching this whole interview and if you like it don't forget to leave it a thumbs up to help us make algorithm extremely happy all of the information about the us drum soccer is down below in the description box so check it out if you want to sign up your school as well and don't forget to subscribe to us drum soccer for more information about the sport more insights and more interviews which we are preparing for you just right now Thanks again very much for watching and while you are waiting for our new video, check out the video just right here. YouTube thinks you will like it, so we believe it and we think so too. I will see you in the next one. Stay awesome and bye!